This video will show you how to install a combination of short and tall cabinets for prepacks, hang-ups, garage storage collection. Only install these cabinets onto wood studs covered by drywall or sheetrock. Securely mounting the rails is critical for a proper installation. Before you begin, make sure you have the following tools and hardware. Stud finder, power screwdriver or drill, 3 16th inch drill bit, pencil, tape measure, level, and hacksaw. Each cabinet comes with one 38 inch metal hanging rail, one connecting brace, and three wood screws. The metal hanging rails are designed to prevent cabinets from sliding past the end of the rail. During assembly, you attach two or three metal rail hooks to the back of your cabinet, which hook onto the metal rail when mounted. When using multiple rails, a connecting brace is fastened across two adjoining rails to provide additional support between studs. It is designed for use with wooden studs positioned 16 inches apart on center. Start by hanging the rails for the wall cabinets. In our installation, we want the bottom of the tall storage cabinets to be 12 inches from the floor. At multiple locations along the wall, measure 79.5 inches from the floor and make a mark. Using a level, draw a line to connect the marks. Studs are typically 16 inches apart, center to center. To find the studs, move the stud finder along the wall until you hear a tone. Continue along the wall until the tone stops. Mark the center between the beginning and end of the tone. Make a vertical mark to indicate the center of each stud along the line. Pre-drill three inch deep holes where the horizontal and vertical lines meet. Position the metal track over the pre-drilled holes and insert wood screws into the first and second holes with the Allen key provided. For faster installation, use a drill and the supplied hexagonal bit. Position the connecting brace so that it overlaps the last hole on the first metal rail. Insert the remaining screw through both the connecting brace and the metal rail. Slide the second metal rail behind the connecting brace and position it next to the first rail. Secure the connecting brace to the second rail. Repeat these steps to hang additional rails and braces. Installing the cabinets without doors attached makes it much easier to lift them into position. With two people, carefully lift the tall cabinet so that the hooks are just above the rail, then carefully lower onto the rail. The smaller wall cabinets can be lifted into place by one person. We want the bottom edge of the lower cabinets to line up with the bottom edge of the tall cabinets at 12 inches from the floor. In two places, measure 31 and a half inches from the floor and make a mark. With a level, draw a line to connect them. Pre-drill three inch deep holes where the horizontal and vertical lines meet. Since the hanging rail is longer than the space needed for the lower cabinet, we have used a hacksaw to cut the rail one quarter of an inch smaller than the cabinet width. In this case, 29 and 3 quarter inches for a 30 inch wide cabinet. Position the metal track over the pre-drilled holes and insert wood screws into the first and second holes. Leave an eighth of an inch gap between the hanging rail and the tall cabinet. Hang the remaining cabinets, then insert drawers, shelves, and attach doors. Door hinges can be adjusted six ways. With your installation complete, fill your cabinets with tools, yard supplies, sports equipment, and other items in your garage. 